Hey, welcome to this radio video. And this is another one for the beginning shortwave listener and, you know what, maybe even uh, people that have been listening for a while. It's not always easy to understand these lists and I personally don't know by heart all of the codes here. But here's the thing. I'm going to show you the EIBI dot, uh, space dot DE list, which I like because like I have, you know, told pretty much a million times, I like listings. And this for me is what I enjoy seeing when I look at a list. Because you can go through this list and see every transmission by hour and half hour and so on. But there are a lot of codes used here. And the first thing that I got to show you is that when you go to the EIBI space.de website, there's a readme.txt file at the bottom of the page. It says conditions of use, language, and transmitter codes. Now this contains all the information that you need to know about all the codes used in this list. So when you click here, it doesn't just tell you the conditions of use, but here's, you see all the different codes used of all the different uh, transmitter site countries and so on. It's pretty, pretty complex. So let's take a look at one broadcast. Now, one that I hear regularly here, 030 to 0100 and Radio Slovakia International. So here we're going to check out the codes. What do they mean? First, you have the time, okay? So 030 to 0100. That means, um, you know, local time here, Eastern time, summer. It's uh, 8.30 to 1, 830 to 9 p.m. evening. So 030 to 0100 hours. You should know what's UTC versus your local time. It's very important. That's the minimum. That's the beginning of understanding shortwave. You need to know at every moment what UTC time it is. You can go on Google, say what UTC time it is. It's going to show you a clock. But the best, you know, set yourself one clock in your home. You know, the clocks are too cheap today. You can buy a very cheap clock and just set it to UTC. And you'll have your own little UTC time all the time. And UTC doesn't change. So that means when you change your clocks because of, you know, summer or winter, one thing you need to know is that your UTC you never touch it. It always is exactly the same. It never changes. Second that you see is a code. This is for Slovakia. It's a code for the country of Slovakia, SVK. Next, and fi by the way, this is where the station is from, but not from where it's transmitting from necessarily. It's very important. It's telling you it's a station from Slovakia. And, of course, here it's called Radio Slovakia International. That code here is for the language. E for English. S for Spanish. F for French. And so on. P for Portuguese. M for Mandarin. You tend to learn the at least, you know, the most important ones. The ones you understand. And uh, then you, have, you know, but while you go through this list, you learn more and more with time. Then you've got its target area. Every station has a target area. That means that station is transmitting towards somewhere on this planet. ENA means Eastern North America. So that's the East Coast of North America. Frequency, 11.580, but the frequency is also slash something. What does it mean? That means it's 11.580 kilohertz. It is transmitted from the United States of America, USA, and the whole is for Okeechobee, Florida transmitter side because this is from WRMI. Now you're telling me, wow, how do I know these things? Well, you'll know as you look at this list regularly, you will record in your head, basically, where these are from. And you'll come to a point where, you're, where you're, you'll know, you know, and you just understand 
the most important codes. I'm not, you know, uh, asking you to basically get all the codes because I understand that it's, you know, really tedious. You'll get too many codes and it's going to be way too complex to remember all these codes. And I don't understand all the codes that are here. But I understand some of the most important codes that I need to understand. It also has a second frequency here. That's why you have no entry below it. So here, the second frequency used for WNA, which is Western North America, 5850 from the USA, Okeechobee, Florida. And there's your transmission. Okay, let's try a new one. Well, just go by, here it goes. We're going to take the 01 to 02, 100 hours UTC. And this is a full listing here of China Radio International. So, what does this mean? 01 to 0200, universal time. China, CHN. China Radio International. Then you've got English. And now they have different target areas. They've got two frequencies from the, for North, Eastern North America. 6020-9570 and ALB means this is transmitted from Albania and the C is for the specific Albania transmitter because there are more than one. So this will give you the specific transmitter. Then you know that there's another one here, Europe 9470-9675 KA, I believe, is from Kashi, which is a China transmitter site. Then there's Southeast Asia and, well, South Asia, sorry. And then you got Southeast Asia. And so here you have Kashi once again. Uh, you've got a B1, which is, I believe, Beijing. And you've got an X1, which I don't know. So, you know, you see that even I, there are some that I just don't know. It could be the... Um, Xijian or something like that transmitter site. I think there's a transmitter site over there. So that's possible. So the important thing is to understand this list and what it means when you're looking at it because you know you're looking at a million information here and you can't hear everything that's here and it's totally normal but you got to understand what you're looking at to make sure that you know what you um, you could listen to. A, der a last example I'll give is uh, here, Voice of Vietnam. So here we got Voice of Vietnam. 0230 to 0300 hours UTC. VTN for the Vietnam country. Voice of Vietnam. It is in English. ENA for North Eastern North America on 12005 slash GW. That is from Great Britain. And the W means it's from the Wolferton transmitter site in the UK. So when you want to have a code, what it means, you just go to that list here in the read me text and search, search for the different codes. Slowly, you're going to understand from where they come from. So, you know, here, for example, our transmitter sites, UAE. This is from the United Arab Emirates transmitter. MDA is from the Madagascar Relay Station, um, UZB for, from Uzbekistan, THA, that's from Thailand. So, you know, it, there's a lot to learn. Uh, DL, this is from a German transmitter site. PHL from the Philippines. Um, you know, I don't know all of them, but I know a lot of the important ones, um, which let me, you know, understand from where the transmitter comes from or the transmission kwt kuwait uh, afg afghanistan uh, you know there's many transmitter sites so check out this list and slowly understand you know where these stations are transmitting from and one of the first things that you should check for when you want to actually hear a station is its target area which is probably one of the two, the two most important things, basically. The language, a language you can understand, and the target area to see if you can hear it. 
but we'll talk about target areas also. I will have a video on target areas. It's probably the next video I'll be uh, posting um, for the beginner. We'll understand that you don't always have to be in the target area to listen to a shortwave station. Um, it helps because it makes it stronger, but it's not necessary to always be in the target area. So I hope you enjoyed this explanation for the new beginning shortwave listener. Uh, and we're going to have more of those videos for um, the beginning shortwave listener trying to have you understand more of what all it means and how to receive your stations. If you enjoyed my videos, please subscribe and give us thumbs up and hope that you enjoy my series on shortwave listening for the beginner, uh, all the things you need to know, the basics of shortwave listening.